What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be calibration of ISF Dark with the Calman LG software and the i1 Meter Pro. Alright, so first thing I want to do is you want to put it in the mode you want to calibrate. Expert Dark Room is what I'm going to calibrate. Uh, we go to settings, you want to make sure energy saving is off. Make sure logo luminance is off. And then uh, I, I use uh, 5 sharpness, off, auto, gamma 2, 4, and picture options, off for everything except real cinematic motion. And I'm going to save it. And now you want to go to your thumb drive, and that's where you want to... Um, play that SDR video for an hour because that puts in SDR mode and keeps it there. Now I have all these uh, files and uh, descriptions and links for this stuff in the description below. Check them out. So we'll put in SDR mode. It gives us a nice hour to calibrate. Alright, let's get to our software. Let's get it nice and focused in. Alright. So OLED is recalibrating, SDR is the mode we're going to do. We go next. Then you want to find your meter. Click that, it'll find your meter. And it found mine, mine's the X-Rite i1 Display Pro Retail. Then you want to choose your profile, and you want to choose RAW XYZ. So choose RAW XYZ. Mine's on OLED because I have a, a different, a different uh, profile for my meter. Thanks to Magician and Sam. All right, so Gamma Formula, we're gonna choose that. Oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna go find source first. Okay, LG, and my model is the uh, GX2020. Go ahead and ch uh, choose the year of model you have and then put in your IP address. You get that from the network setting of your TV. And then once that's in, you get a pin code off the TV screen. I'm gonna load that in now. Right, okay that. Now your TV should be in a grayscale pattern. Window 10%. And now gamma formula, we're gonna go choose power. And you see right here it says night is 2.4 and day is 2.2. Since we're doing dark mode, we're gonna go in night mode, so enter 2.4. And then we go next. Then we want to do a run series to see uh, what it looks like before calibration. All right, guys. So to finish the pre-calibration, and as you can see, it's uh, the lines are all over the place. Not very cal uh, very good um, readings before calibration. So. We want to make sure all the dots are in the squares. We want to make sure all of this is very, very low and we get a nice flat line across. So hopefully at the end, it'll be like that. So let's just choose next. Now we're going to find our TV. And I'm choosing the 2020 GX, because that's what I have. And then uh, we don't have to put the IP address in again. So I need to see that the screen went green. Now we want to choose the mode that we're going to do. It's Expert Dark or ISF Dark, same thing. And make sure HDR is not checked and color spacer at BT709. And you can go ahead and do a full DDC reset just to make sure everything is ready for calibration. All right, and go next. And enable calibration is checked. Good. Next again. And here we want to make sure that the luminance is between 110 and 115. So I usually bring mine around 20. 29 or so and then go ahead and measure and see if uh, where it's at all right that's perfect okay now we go next and this is the grayscale this is where the magic happens before we start, we're going to choose this uh, menu here, and 
and make sure it says power 2.4 BT709 is good. With the measurement options, I choose DE2000 underscore NDAP. That's what I choose. Pretty, fairly, fairly accurate. If you want to do different ones, you can. Feel free to experiment. All right, I'm gonna go auto cal. And 26 points LG looks good. Go ahead and okay it. All right, guys. So we have a nice, uh, pretty, pretty decent line here across the board, and very low luminance readings. I like this a lot. Took about eight minutes. Fantastic. A few straggler dots here and there, but overall, very, very nice. I hope this sticks. All right, let's go next. All right, so color space. This is the one we want to do auto calibration again. All right, so the, the 3D LUT settings, the, the recommended one is Lightning LUT. Um, that's a great great way to go. If you want to do a very thorough, long time uh, calibration, that's the IR profile. I've not done that. And then the Matrix LUT is to kind of clean up any um, errors you might get later on. So we'll go back to that if need be. All right, Lightning LUT it is. Okay. All right, so we finished that. Color space calibration took about 19 minutes. All right, let's go next. <clears throat> and for this one, I just choose 100. And I read series. All right, go next. And we disable calibration. Next. And this is the final, final stage here. I like to do is open up properties, show targets, open up properties, show targets. Because we want to have that straight line, right? And we want to be below the yellow on both of these bottoms. Anything beyond yellow is not good. It's pretty much, you can kind of see the errors. If we can get below green, ISF gods are shining on us and smiling upon us. And of course, all these little squares, you want to have those dots as close inside the home as possible. All right, so let's run series and hope for the best here. All right guys, so I just finished post calibration and there's a couple things that I'm not too happy about. Um, so we have a little bit of a dip here in the red on 50. But these two guys here, uh, we have bluish green and yellow. Oh, bad. All right, so there's one thing we can try to, to attempt before we wipe the whole thing out and start over. Uh, we want to go back and try matrix LUT. So we're going to enable calibration. Okay, we're going to go back. And back to color space. I'm going to run this again, AutoCal. We're going to change one thing here. So 
So instead of lightning LUT, we're going to go down to matrix LUT, select that, press OK. All right, so after it does the matrix LUT, we're going to go next. Click on 100, read series. All right, go next, disable calibration, next, and then read series again. And hopefully these two bars go down below yellow. <clears throat> Maybe even fix this bluish line too. And then we'll see what happens to this yellow or the red, red hump there. So you want to read series. Ah, okay, after running the matrix and trying again, we definitely fixed that red hump and we even helped out the 50 a little bit here. We corrected the, the uh, yellow, so that's awesome. And I think we corrected the bluish green, but then all of a sudden orange goes nuts, right? So there's an issue there. So what I'm gonna do is go back again and rerun it, the matrix, and see if that uh, see if that fixes that. So enable calibration again. Go back, go back. Auto cal. Keep it at matrix LUT, okay it. And before we do read series, hopefully this, green, this blue line stays good. All this stays great. And we wanna get this orange to target. So read series. All right, guys, so we fixed it. All right, so we got that orange to go down. Very, very acceptable. We got a little bit of a red null here at the 20, but that's fine. I'm good with that. Uh, the Delta E2000 is awesome, beautiful under the green. And then we got this uh, Delta E with the, the color, really, really nice. Everything is under the yellow, which is awesome. And the majority of it is all under that green, which is beautiful. But we got that orange to look good, right? Orange. Awesome guys. The only trouble spots was the dark skin, which I mean it's pretty darn close. And then the yellow, pretty darn close. So and then also the uh every all the little dots got in their home really nicely as well. So just uh you know gotta have patience with this. This is probably the 15th time I've run this test before I finally got a good a good uh test to, to show you guys. So just go back to do that uh, matrix a few times and try to clean up the loose ends, but after that. This looks awesome, I'm gonna accept this, I'm great. So let's move on to next. Ah. And there you go guys, you can see the post calibration. Crazy, right? And then now to this clean, really, really great uh, calibration that I'm very happy with. So we're gonna save the data. We wanna edit the name so you know what, which one this was. So we're gonna say ISF dark I'm just putting needy R, R, R there because that's my profile. Um, you could put uh, raw XYZ if you want. And then uh, save edits. And then save calibration. And then I'll lock it in. Beautiful. And at this point, you want to unlock or disconnect the uh, LG 2020 OLED Expert Dark. And you want to disconnect the LG source. That way we can see the picture. And it's disconnected. 
So at this point, now you can check the TV. All right, so I'm gonna press uh, input and go to live TV. And expert dark room. And I'm at 29 light, but I like to bring it up to 43. My final number is 43 for OLED light. Would recommend going over 50 on OLED light because you could throw off the calibration uh, readings, but 43 is a good compromise. And apply to all inputs, yes. And there we are, guys. We have a beautiful calibrated TV. My goodness, that picture looks great. Skin tone looks awesome. Yep, very pleased with this picture. Yeah. Whoa. All right, let's go back. Yeah, this looks awesome. Good color on the, uh, the NBC logo there. Everything looks nice and separated there in the colors. Red looks great. Oh, the greens. Oh, my God, yes. Okay, very, very pleased with this, guys. Very pleased. All right, guys, hopefully I helped you, helped you out. Um, yeah, this is really, really great. When you calibrate it, you feel great. You feel empowered. You love the TV even more, and you know what you're seeing with your own eyeballs is exactly what you should be seeing. All right, guys, like, subscribe, share. I'm going to make another calibration video, so keep an eye on that. Home theater rules, LG TV rules. You guys take care. Peace out.